What's up everybody, Johnny over at Witchcraft Whips. On today's schedule we have falls. To be particular, the length of a fall. I'm making a six foot bullwhip. How long should I cut my fall? How long do you make your fall for a three foot snake whip? Frequently asked questions. Well, it depends really. It uh, depends on the taper of your whip more than the length of your braiding according to me at least here we have a terry jacka eight foot bull whip quite a chunky whip with a long fall this fall is four foot long and this one cracks and performs just beautifully with a four foot fall. It's a chunky whip. It's a heavy whip. It ain't gonna perform any lightning fast routines anytime soon, but it fits my style of cracking very well. Uh, more of like a hero style cracking where you go boom, 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 more than a machine gun cracking. I suppose that machine gun cracking could qualify as a hero style cracking, uh, but I think it would be called more like a Rambo style cracking then. Uh, over here we have a, another 8 foot bull whip. This one is a Sidavi whip and this one only has a 2 foot fall. And this one also handles great. But how can that be when the length of the falls are so different? Let me show you. Let's lay them out next to each other. Like so. The red one is the side Davy and the brown one is the Terry Jacka fall. Now keep in mind, as I said, these are both 8 foot bull whips, but uh, it's not, you know, 1 or 2 inches that differs in the fall length, it's a whole foot. And why is that? Well, the length of the fall depends more on the taper of your whip than the actual length of the braiding. The Terry Jacka bull whip, like I said, is a chunky and heavy whip, and the taper of it is quite slow. It drops away far further down the thong than the Cy Davy whip. The Cy Davy whip is a bit narrower and drops away a bit earlier. And the end of the thong has a narrower profile than the Terry Jackable whip, which calls for a shorter fall. Let's see if I can find... <laughs> Paperwork. Ha! Here we have the taper for the Jacka bull whip. As you can see, it's quite a chunky whip. Starts out at 25.3 mils at the one foot mark. And. Whoops. Ah. And it does sort of like a drop right here between the three and four foot mark. And but it's still very chunky all the way down to the fall hitch. The side Davy, however, has a generally narrower profile. Let me get a pen. Tapers down to a narrower thong closer to the eight foot mark. Let me place you guys right here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Paper. Thank you. Let's say that that's eight foot. And that's also eight foot. Now, if my whip tapers very slow, something like whoops, this, 
it calls for a longer fall to complement the overall taper of the whip. So let's let me get a colored pencil for you. Red will work. So in this case, the fall, given there's a fall hitch right here, the fall would be something like. That maybe. And we're gonna draw another whip. This whip tapers a bit faster and comes down to a narrower profile. Like so. And this one calls for a shorter fall. There's a fall hitch right there. And the fall would be a bit shorter. These two would still be 8 foot bull whips, but the length of the fall would vary because of the taper of the whip. To exaggerate, if I made a whip that tapers very fast close to the handle and then keeps a slimmer profile on the thong all the way down to the fall hitch. If I would put a fall that's too long on this one, whoops, ah, you're getting it. Uh, the end of the thong along with the fall would be way too light and flimsy. If my whip had a profile like this, the fall would need to be very short. To maybe there. Now if I put a one foot fall on a whip that tapered like this, it would probably function, but you lose the practical benefits that the fall provides, being a wear and tear part of the whip. Put the paper over. If I were to make a whip that's very chunky, it doesn't have a lot of taper at all. This one would need a very long fall to be able to have a nice overall taper to the whip. Are you with me? Here we have different scenarios, more or less exaggerated, but you have to complement the overall taper of your whip with your fall. Now the Terry Jacka bull whip, like I said, it has a three foot fall. That's a quite a long fall, but it's a chunky whip. And if you look at where the fall ends, it's very wide. I just measured it a couple of minutes ago and it ends at six mils. That's huge. That's right around where most falls start out at the fall hitch. So I could probably add another foot to this fall, making this an eight foot bull whip with a four foot fall and it would still handle great. But of course, bringing the fall down to a narrower profile at the tip, maybe about three mils. So that's a short video on a couple of my thoughts regarding the length of a fall for a whip. Hope it was somewhat interesting and uh, I have to get back to work. I'll see you later. Bye.